My wife looked out our front window. We live right directly across the street from this house. She looked out and she texted me and was telling me that there was a uh, law enforcement presence. They came, they put the kids in a car, took the kids away. Then I got home from work and I was sitting watching, I flipped on the news about five o'clock and there it was, said that it was a child abuse investigation and the address was right across the street from our house. They'd been here since the middle of April, never introduced, they never came over. We just, they were just very quiet. They were always outside working. The, they had, the kids were working in the yard, they were doing always working on something, building something. Something like this, it does bother you, and whenever it's right directly across the street from you, and people are going, well, did you suspect anything? No, not really. And the ironic thing about it is, is that Friday, they were out cutting up plywood and doing all of that, and actually had plywood boxes built. Whether those are the ones that they used for this, I'm not going to speculate on anything, but uh, me, my wife, and my son saw that they had plywood boxes out there. So had allegations of uh, abuse of some children there. Uh, also made contact with the uh, uh, homeowner, and uh, along with DFS, they ended up going into the house and finding deplorable conditions. Uh, Four children there, ranging from age six to 12 years old. Home built boxes inside the home. They were like, I think he said like five by seven with a cot in there, no uh, water, no restroom facilities, anything like that. Immediately he took the uh, man and woman there to home into custody and our detectives then went over and served a search warrant there and uh, investigated crime as we speak. They, they didn't uh, didn't adopt these four children. These were actually a, a, a man and a woman living together in the same house, and the uh, the children were adopted by the woman and uh, her estranged husband. As far as we know, the officer says that uh, the children were in fairly good shape when he seen them, but uh, they were taken into the custody of DFS, and and we don't know that for sure just yet.